Right, uh, today something uh, a bit different again. There's always something different. This is a project I've been after doing a while. <clears throat> I've done two previous videos on parts of the Lemster Canal, a canal that vanished uh, 150 years ago. Big commercial disaster. I just let this train go past. And gradually I've been following the uh, canal through the landscape. Uh, it's all but gone now. There's a short stretch that's still got a, a bit of water in it. And you can see it in the, in the, um, the landscape quite easily in some places such as here. You can see it's very wet and boggy. This is the line of part of the canal. But today... I'm going <clears> to <throat> attempt to paddle through, where are we, I'll zoom in there, an old canal tunnel called Putnell Field Tunnel. According to all the information it's 330 yards long, but um, and this is the north, uh, the northern portal, and the southern portal is supposed to be 330 yards away. But I've measured it as a straight line uh, between the two points on Google Earth, and it's over 400 yards, so about 100 yards uh, longer. So I'm not quite sure. It's plugged up at the far end near the southern portal. So you can't get right through the uh, the tunnel, but you can get 99% uh, of the way through. And that's what I'm going to attempt to do today. Right, this is the uh, northern portal. The northern entrance to the tunnel. And there's a southern portal, say, possibly over 400 yards away. Goes under a hill, and that hill's uh, got a house on it now. The tunnel's in a poor state of repair. Even that board's rotted. I just stood on it a few minutes ago. I'm sure it's going to crack um, in the next 12 months. And you can see the the uh, the canal. <coughs> so there hasn't been a boat through here for 150 years, and most of the canals now buried into the landscape but uh, I did want to come in here a couple of years ago uh, but one thing and another it never happened and I would have been the first person for a long time to uh, go through this tunnel unfortunately I was uh, beaten to it and there's at least a couple of guys being through on, in a canoe and um, they took photographs which are online this actual northern portal this site where I'm stood now and the southern portal there's lots of photographs online about it but um, as disappointed as I was that someone beat me to it going through this tunnel um, they only seem to have taken a few photographs and I might be the first person <clears throat> to uh, film this there's nothing on YouTube about it so I might very well be the first person there's um, difficult to tell but this um, bed of the canal here would have been some um, four or five feet deep the water there is crystal clear and still. So it's um, possibly a couple of feet of silt on the bottom and up to a couple of feet of water on the top. And the guys that I know who have been here, two of them, came through. There's a lot of spiders' webs hanging in there, I can see them. They came in a canoe. I was going to come in my canoe, but. Um, I decided to bring a little two-man plastic dinghy, sort of seaside type one. I've got my canoe, part of my canoe paddle, so I'm going to paddle my way through. 
and uh, film this. We'll see how far we'll get. There's a strange smell coming out this um, uh, tunnel. Uh, there may even be bats in here. I know there's um, lime leaking from the brickwork and the mortar, form little stalactites. Yeah, I've seen pictures of them. So uh, I've got a five million candle power lamp with me. <clears throat> it's got about a 45 minute burn time. So hopefully I'll be through and back out. I've got a, a few other torches as well. So I'll uh, crack on with this. One of the novelties I'm going to do is um, leave a box at the far end asking people to sign the visitor book if you like if they come across it if you want a bits and pieces details there you'll probably get quite damp so I'll put a few pens and pencils in and I'm going to leave that at the far end of the tunnel for the hell of it and some details I'm not expecting anyone to find it in the near future no one might go down this tunnel now for 50 years, but we'll see. Water's about five feet deep here. And where's that patch? There he is. That patch. I'll be just in there. Take the main beam off him. on the roof there. Reacted to the light. Yeah. One there as well.
them about a quarter of the way through, a good hundred yards to that portal there. I've um, made my way through the tunnels of the uh, plug. It's been deliberately filled in this. That's um, there is my visitor's boot box. Whoever finds that, there's ropes and all sorts of bits of stuff in here. So there have been people in here. So, yeah. And that mostly is. Uh, line that's stripped down and covered whatever the obstruction is they've used to plug the uh, the wall that wire plug there is down on a load of water back on the southern portal the water level is only about 18 inches above the top of the tunnel so there's a huge volume of water being held back by that plug wouldn't be healthy if it suddenly burst now <laughs> be tremendous just looking at these stalactites and uh, there's bats throughout this um, thing here just uh, if I can zoom in there you know, like, there's several bats down there in the top of the plug as I zoom in there, there they are there's two there Water's quite clear actually, I don't know whether. Let me zoom out about that. Yeah, it's about two feet deep below me, but uh, some places clearly about five feet. Where this is deepest, the silt is probably at its shallowest. It might be worth coming through here one day with a, a magnet. <laughs> Just to. See if there's any canal bits, rusted as they might be, on the bottom here. It's pretty, pretty clear water. Last time I saw water this clear, I saw it was um, in a mine below a quarry. Zoom in there again. The uh, bats. Right, time to um, make my way out. Achieve what I've set out to do. And I'm quite pleased with this. Rain on the railway line, about a hundred yards away to my current right. Of course, when this canal tunnel was built in the 1700s, no such thing as trains. It was all horse drawn. This was one of the earliest um, canal tunnels ever built in Britain. It was a brand new industry and uh, it collapsed in its first incarnation. And, uh, I think it killed a few people working in here. And then it was uh, 
rebuilt. Another one there. Another one there. Right, I've just got my head torch on at the moment. I'll just turn the big lamp off. Just to see what it's like. Stalactites on the roof there. <laughs> and the entrance out. Got to look at this little bath here. There's a bit of movement out of it. It's clean in itself.
Right, that's that job done. Quite pleased with that. And uh, the back population was another bonus. So uh, there won't be many people coming in this tunnel, but any that do should find my uh, presence. Really, really interesting tunnel this. And um, the water was surprisingly warm. It was cold, but really warm compared with uh, say river water, which was surprising as well. Although um, underground um, houses and caves, earth sheltered homes, and that, they tend to remain constant throughout the year. So um, I imagine even in winter, this water's reasonably warm compared with the outside. I wouldn't be at all surprised if a lot more bats actually roost in here over the winter. Anyway, that's that job done. I'll uh, call it a day now. I suppose um, <laughs> I better get my mug shot in with the um, canal tunnel behind. So just to make a good film, really poor now, see my fizzog. <laughs> anyway, there we go, Putnall Field Tunnel.